Next time, if you want the miniatures, order the Kickstarter. And Spoo Town here with Stargrave. This time we're going to do a quick book flip through and check to see what this new skirmish game is about. My guess, and I pretty much know that it's a lot like Frostgrave, which probably everybody else has figured out too. But a really handy thing considering all the different games that are out there for futuristic play. This looks like a real nice one, a uh, nice cross between a uh, dungeon s kind of values and play and as well as a little bit of battling so it looks very promising so there's the cover a nice opening there science fiction war games in the ravaged galaxy it's another one by McCullough here's our contents page Assembling a crew, creating a first mate, zoom in here a little, and more, there we go, so context, introduction, assembling the crew, creating a first mate, recruiting soldiers, the rules, pretty much laid out like Stark, or like Frostgrave, and it goes through the turn, activation, movement, combat, shooting, damage, powers. Incoming transmission and a little blurb here. It's in a galaxy torn apart by the last war, vast pirate fleets roam from system to system, robbing, extorting, and rounding up slaves. Any attempt to form any kind of central authority larger than a city-state is quickly and brutally crushed. So it looks like the pirates have taken over space. That's not too bad if you're a pirate. And let's take a look here. Is that second part of what's in the book campaigns? Experience and level, counting loot, spending loot, Powers, powers description, credits, let's see, the scenarios, you get 10 of those, it's really nice, broken fence, starport raid, derelict warship, the overgrown factory, and the bestiary, some really nice critters in this one, and crew sheets, all that good quick reference stuff is nice, it's definitely covered here. Opens up to his introduction, and he explains the premise of the game and what it took him to put it together. Miniatures, what you will need to play. Miniatures and terrain as usual. We've all seen this nice little photo there on the web. So, and dice, it's a 20-sided dice, just like Frostgrave. And there's the table, they tell you about that, the terrain, which it's all based with a lot of terrain, please. Here's sheet and templates. Assembling a crew. And this is a really nice illustration. Everybody's favorite. Did a nice job. Credits for the artists are in the back there. It's pretty nice work. It's inspiring. Gets you going. And then you create a captain. You, you lay him out with certain powers. You get a first mate. Same thing there. You give him a background so you know where he's coming from. And all that kind of stuff. And your options you can create. Which is nice. He's got some really nice options. Some Biomorph, Cyborg, gives you stat modifications for that. Those are the mods. The play is nice. It's basically where you're trying to get loot and stuff before you're getting all the pirates on your butt and taking you out. 
a nice little image there and it's like you could be a mystic also you can be a robotics expert so they give you core powers stat modifications at the bottom of these so you know another nice image and captain and first mate maybe well, it tells you you can be a rogue a psionicist a checker you like tech technical stuff you can fix it etc veterans real hardcore guys choosing powers that's really nice A nice piece of art there. You guys balancing some balls in air. And split stats, stat modifications tells you about the stat lines and how they're laid out. Well, it's, it's pretty much using uh, Frostgrave as a template for the mechanics and I like it. So if you know how to play Frostgrave, you're going to pick this up pretty quick. And then creating a first mate, recruiting soldiers. Gives you the first mate levels like Frostgrave. He's got less than the captain. Captain's got first, but you got to get a first mate on this one in this game. Standard soldier table. And that gives you standard soldier table. Specialist soldier table, nicely laid out for you. Really nice one there. General equipment list. Equipment, deck, filter mask, medical kit. And this is some of it. I'm just doing a quick flip through for you. And like here's our weapons. An arm knife hand weapon. Pistol. Carbine. Shotgun. Rapid fire. Grenade fragmentation. Grenade smokes. A little blurb about the grenades. There we go. Blurb about grenades. Nice. Talking about a grenade launcher and a flamer. They have templates for these. Kind of like a Warhammer 40k templates would be usable, I think. For blast markers and the uh, flamethrower range. Talks about armor here. Light armor, heavy armor, combat armor, you gotta replenish the combat armor during, in between games and campaigns. You can even get a shield option if you want to add one. Arms and armor summary. Nice space guy full of junk. You seen that? The rules, chapter two. Setting up the table, talks about corner and table edges, where it comes from, uh, selecting table edges, nice layout. It is nice that they give you little modeling ideas, very handy. Uh, place loot, loot uh, tokens, and you got the turn, where how you deal with your initiative, roll for that, and phases are divided up really nicely between a s captain's phase, the first shot, and then your first mate phase. And then you go to creature fa soldier phase and creature phase. And they, they break it down here, what you do in the captain phase, what you do in the first mate phase, etc. Talks about activation, group activation. It's all nice and easily readable. Stat rolls. Automatic successes, failures, 20s and 1s. 
Here's a nice shot of some space pirates. This image is all over the web too. Here we go, a couple of their miniatures to come out from North Star. Talks about movement. Obstructions. Combat movement. Forcing combat movements off the table. There you go. Here's a little another little blurb. So it's broken down pretty nicely. So it doesn't leave a lot to the imagination. You got uh, for your movements jumping, falling, swimming, swimming modifiers table. Nice robo dog. Some kind of space marine, so to speak, with his helmet. I mean, uh, beret. Here's all your multiple combats. Talks about that. Gives you really clear examples of what that means. Pretty thorough. A nice little robot and its minder. Shooting. That's covered nicely. Modifiers to shooting. There's your table there. Nice little image. So it looks like he's covered uh, pretty much what you need to play to get started going pretty fast. So if you're a frost graver, you're going to like this as far as getting into space. It's pretty much uh, follows the template, so you're going to be able to jump right in. Play a couple of demo games and you've got it. Wounded toxins, powers, success and failure. There we go. Another scary alien giving a blast to somebody in the foreground here. Targeting figures with powers in combat. Nice. So powers are going to play a lot, a lot in this also. How you craft and how your characters and your captains are, how they act. So there's going to be a lot of variety of playing against people. You're going to run into all different combinations of things. Which is nice. And it's got rules for creatures. And the bestiary is really nice. Here's your campaign injury and death. Captains and first mates. And permanent injury. Badly wounded. I like this guy. Some kind of technical dude with a some kind of tentacled beast on the lab table talks about all your injuries so span across your campaigns experience and levels nicely detailed charts so you got that figured out lower activation number new power Nice book. It looks a little thicker than uh, Frostgrave 2. Here's your loot. All these tokens and stuff that you can set up. Again, nice little modeling uh, opportunities for your tokens. Looks like a psyker tied to the control, like a navigator. Nice painting. Your credits. Which it's credit, not gold this time. Information, secrets, trade goods, advanced weapon. Advanced weapon table. Advanced technology. So I'm going to jump and get some of this drain set up. This is 28 millimeter and there are lots of different um, 
sets of miniatures out there that would work for this. The inches in movement probably range up to like 32 millimeter play and that kind of thing. So you're not going to get stuck there. You might uh, wind up getting stuck with scale. Because 2832 and all those differences with different companies really counts. So if you're going to stick with one, then you're going to wind up playing a game with those kind of miniatures. And they're 28 level, 28 millimeters. You've got things like War Games Atlantic. I don't know. I don't have any of uh, Mantix Space Age Fighters. They're around. There we go. You could even play it with Star Wars figures. And this is nice trooper looking. Which they're going to have troopers too for miniatures. Really nice. There's a deal right now for getting three boxes for a decent price with North Star. So, they had some pretty interesting approaches. So they play with data, information, storage, and retrieval. You've got all the gravity problems. You've got different kinds of armor, which is nice. Jet boots, jump pack, lift gloves, integrated filter mask. I'm getting me some for the different levels of oxygen or gases. And it's zero gear slots. Which means you have one. And these guys right here I'm looking pensive and loaded up. Plasma Blaster. So you also got powers that are usable once per game. Those are nice. They can throw some flavor in. Pulse Disperser. I like it. Robot Repair Kit. Surge Battery. Alien Artifact Chart. Blinding Talisman, you've got Cursed Address, once in a game a figure carrying this device attempts to activate the Puppet Master power, they may choose to either gain plus two to activation or treat the power as um, if it is has strain instead of strain two, we'll have to get into that. So you can even tire your figures out or they can have stress deductions in their stats. Mind Shackles. Mind Spike. List Pick Caster. Psychic Resonator. Razor Derringer. Robolock Security ten Sensory Tendrils. Guy staring out the window. This hotel room taking a picture, private eye maybe. New soldiers, new captain, spending loot. New first mate. Improving the ship. Selling items, buying items. Nice little miniature example with some big vats behind him. Optional rule balancing scenarios. So he's done some thinking with this boy. Nice. As far as it all goes, it's pretty much worth the price. I got it at Amazon, so I don't know if they're going to go up or down for a little while. But there is a free version of the rules online too, so and that includes some warband um, options and how to put together a nice. A crew and stuff like that so it's worth going online and maybe downloading if you're not going to pick this up right away waiting for the miniatures or what have you power descriptions activation strain category line of sight bribe okay she got some nasty guys with a lot of cash and here's another nice alien She's got a nice blaster, carbine, data knock, data skip, destroy weapon, 
electromagnetic pulse, EMPs, energy field, fling, fortune, haggle, a lot of options, sonic fire. So he's done a good job. We've really got a, a good, thick, meaty book to look through. And nice, nice images this time around. Quick struck, quick step, reconstruct body, repair robot. Gotta have a robot in your crew. Danger, Will Robinson. Target lock, target destination. There we go. Straight an Imperial warrior girl. Void blade, toxic secretion. Chapter five scenarios. Scenario table. Let's group of these guys. All right. Data vault. Set up special rules. Here we're getting into our little campaign. Salvage crew. The bots deal. So nice campaigns. Good names. Loot and experience on the bottom for each one of these. The broken fence. Sky mine. Special rules. Broken fence and vent table. So he's got it fleshed out to some ways that you can spin off your own campaigns and how to flesh those out. Nice little landing shot with the miniatures. Starpoint raid. A derelict warship. Another nice illustration. Overgrown factory. And you got special rules, you get to loot. Fireman. Special rules. And here we go to the bestiary. Nice monsters. If you want to kit bash some of these together, there are some nice ideas in this book. Creature list. It's a cyborg looking guy here. In the middle of a battle. And you got rules for your bile worm, a bounty hunter, a dead bird, a drone, a ferox, all these stats and abilities. There you go. Some spooky looking guys. They're nice, they're from Knowles. See that? So you can make up, whip some knoll heads from a set of those and go to town. Mine gripper, magmite, pirate shock trooper, pirate trooper. You can put that war band together if you want. Porigota, if you want to play the space pirates. And there we go, nice tech shot of a robot. Very nice. I can ruffian repair bot. War bot, war pound. Some troopers. Creature attributes, nice, nice, another nice robot, it's pretty cool, rules for flying, hatred of gunfire, horns, immune to critical hits, multiple shooting attacks again, nice little bug out creature, never stunned, never wounded, pack hunter. Lots of meat to these rules. There we go, some hounds. Sharp teeth, even. Alright. A nice spaceport battle.
And your credits. That's yours. Artwork. Hitsy Balzer, Michael Georgi, Sam Lamont, and Paolo, Paolo Pugoloni, Pugini, Pugioni. Sorry, I'm going to quit making the names. Anyways, there's all the credits. Even a special thanks, which is great. On the back, nice templates. Quick chart of some powers. Cover that nicely in the back here. Shooting some quick references, loot tokens, all that's in there. And that, my friends, is Stargrave. Nice skirmish game. And it looks like fun. I can't wait to make up some a little bit of terrain. And then start thinking about where I'm going to make my characters from. Of course, I'll pick up a couple boxes from North Star when they come out. So this is Sprewtown saying thanks for stopping in. And like and subscribe. Hit the bell. And we'll see you next time.